Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another battle to the death for you. Today, we have the brand new Ontario Rat Model 2 in D2 Steel against the Steel Wheel Mini Cut Jack in D2 Steel, the FRN China made version. There's also an M390 expensive version, but these two compare much more closely because they're both budget EDCs that are meant for. I'm not going to say heavy duty things, but a uh, fairly heavy duty use. You can use them for pretty heavy stuff. D2 steel is great, a great working steel, great everyday steel. They both have three inch blades. They both have various versions of fancy plastic handles. They both are steel liner locks. A lot of things are very, very similar about these and very, very similarly priced. You're looking at, we'll get that right out of the way. You're looking at about 30, uh, let's make sure I get this right. And uh, you're looking at about $39, $39.40 bucks for the steel wheel cut jack. And I've seen the Model 2 D2 in as, for as low as $33 and as high as $38. So very, very, very similar prices. Now, uh, let's just get right into the rules of how this is going to work. If you guys watched these before, I have seven categories I judge them on. I'll pick a winner in each. We have aesthetics, quality, blade and cutting, ergonomics, carry... Uh, deployment and value so that's how it's gonna go I just want to apologize right off the bat my uh, my voice is a bit uh, a bit off that's why you're getting this so soon a little explanation I only got this three four days ago I normally wouldn't do a comparison video this soon but uh, I've been sick and hanging out at the house and I had nothing better to do than mess with this new knife that I got and cut a bunch of stuff and I really feel like I know it well enough to do this the only reason why I'm doing the comparison before I do the full review is I got two of them. I got a, uh, I got this carbon fiber one too. So um, uh, I have not got to use this very much, and I want to just review them both together because they're so similar. There's no point in two separate reviews about them. So once I get more time in the carbon fiber one, I'll do a full review on the Rat Model Two D2. Now uh, both of these knives also do have big brothers. So if you watch this review, this comparison, or the reviews of each, and you think you want a bigger one, you can get that. The Rat Model 1 in D2, you can see, is just a large... This is actually just a small version of that. This is a much larger knife. And also, they make a full-size cut jack, hence the name Mini Cut Jack. This is the expensive Italian version, but they make also make the full-size cut jack in the FRN D2 version. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. If you're thinking, ah, I don't want 3-inch knives, you're wasting my time. I like them bigger. Well, you can get them bigger. And most of what I'm going to say about this, other than ergonomics and stuff, applies to the bigger ones. So, here we go. Let's do uh, some specs. Get this thing rolling. We'll start out with the steel wheel cut jack. You have an overall length of 7 inches. A blade length of 3 inches. You have a pretty tall blade. It's a full inch tall blade. And you have a handle length of dead on 4 inches. Handle thickness of 0.45 inches and a weight of three ounces with a blade that is uh, 0.12 inches thick. So not, not super thin, but not super thick at all. Now let's move on to its competitor for the day, the Rat Model 2 in D2 steel. We're just gonna call, people have been calling it R2D2, which I, I kind of like. I wish they made it in blue. I would have got the blue just so I could call it R2D2, but anywho, uh, you have again, same length, seven inches, same blade length, three inches, handle length just a touch over four inches, handle thickness you're looking at closer to 0 0.4 inches, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, something like that, a little bit thinner. You have um, a uh, weight of 2.75 ounces, so just a touch lighter, but a quarter ounce, you're not going to notice that, let's be honest, and a pretty thin, slicey little blade of 0 0.9 inches now let's get into the, the categories get into the judging we're not gonna do size comparisons because we're just comparing these two you saw it against the model one and the bigger brother so it's just your average three inch knife we'll do if you want to see more size comparisons about these you can look at their individual reviews which i will link down below especially when i have this one done we are talking about aesthetics as our first category aesthetically neither of these are pretty they're working knives they're not meant to be gorgeous things uh, I really went back and forth on this one. I really couldn't decide. Um, my final uh, reason why I made this the choice is, well, 
they're both they, they both look kind of utilitarian there's things i don't like about both of them this blade the way the blade sweeps up takes a bit to get used to on the on the all the rats i've kind of gotten used to it. it doesn't really bother me but it does bother some people um also a thing that bothers a lot of people is the checker pattern on this and i've kind of gone the other way on this the pattern on the frn this used to not bother me and now it's kind of getting so that it does so yeah i don't know um the, the reason I'm going to give the win in the aesthetic category to the Rat Model 2 and D2 is that you can get it in a lot more color combinations. This you can just get in black and the green satin blade. That's it. This you can get in a black coated blade. You can get it in, uh, what do we got? Just make sure I got all this right here. You got it in OD green. This is the Coyote Brown. You can get it in a tan. You can get it with a coated blade. You can even get it in carbon fiber like I showed you before. There's just so many more options on the uh, rat that I think aesthetically you have to give the win to the rat just because of the amount of options. So one one point to the rat model two. Now, quality wise, this this was uh, the toughest one because the rat model two feels fine for you know the, the thirty two to thirty eight bucks, especially if you find it at thirty two. Um, it feels fine. It doesn't feel great, but it feels perfectly fine for the price. Um, the nylon, these they use nylon handles, and these these are FRN. This is nylon. It's like I said, it's just various words for fancy plastic, but they don't feel as as quality as the cut jack for sure. Um, the this has nested liners, you know. This doesn't. There's little things about the cut jack that make it feel. Definitely, you pick it up in your hand, it feels like a more expensive quality piece, so you'd think this would be an easy win for the cut jack. But uh, when I got this, it was a bit messed up. And I have had several Ontario rats in different forms. I've had, what, four of them now. They've all been perfectly fine out of the box. This one wasn't. Um, I, the, the, I had a pretty significant burr in one of the bushings, and there was a random piece of plastic FRN stuff floating around. So I had to take it apart and clean it up and deburr that bushing. Was it a big deal? No, but I can't, I can't just dismiss it. And I'm not the only one. I've seen lots of other reviews and talked to other people on forums and stuff that there's never been any huge quality issues with these uh, Chinese steel wheels, but uh, they're often not perfect out of the box. So blade centering on both of them, by the way, while we're talking about quality, both of them are not perfectly centered they're close there's no problem there but both of them if you're a uh, centering snob both of them are a little bit both of them favor to the left a little bit there so keep that in mind i guess um but yeah I, i'm gonna have to call it a tie it would be a clear win for this if i'd have gotten one of the good ones but i, I didn't i had to i had to mess with it a little bit so if you guys watched my review of that complained about the deployment not being super smooth i have since fixed that and it was it difficult no it took me 20 minutes it's not a big deal wouldn't stop me from buying one but it stops it from winning this category hope that makes sense to you now blade this was another tough call uh as i said this is a very thin slicey little blade it is awesome for detail stuff it's got nice jimping you can choke up on and it's just awesome for it it, it kind of felt like a I use it for a lot of food prep, and like I said, I've been hanging around the house a lot, and I cut a, open a bunch of packages, cut a bunch of cardboard and stuff with it, and like it's just when you have to do that fine detail stuff, it's just great for that. It's just so nice. It reminds me almost like of an Open L. I feel I felt like using like I was using my Open L when I used it like around the kitchen and stuff like that. It is awesome for that kind of detail stuff. Nice thin, full flat grind blade. I really really like it. Um, I love the blade on this. It is great for a lot of the EDC uses that I use. Now, the cut jack is really good at hacking cardboard and stuff like that. It's a, it's it's awesome at that. It's good at bigger stuff. And it's okay for choking up and doing detail stuff, but it's still a very tall blade. Even when you're choked up, it's a tall blade, and doing little detail things is a bit more difficult. They're both the same steel, so I can't really complain there. They both seem to hold an edge just as well. I, th I, don't, I don't think either of these guys have messed up the heat treat at all or anything like that. Uh, this is a prettier looking blade for sure. But um, yeah, I, I have to call it a tie. I hate to call it a, a, a tie again, have two ties in a row, but it depends on what your purpose is. If you're doing heavier duty stuff, you know, the cut jack. If 
if you're doing more detail oriented, more light duty EDC stuff, I would say the Model 2. So depends on what you're doing. That's why I have to call it a tie. Now ergonomics, not a tie. The Rat Model 2 is not bad. It's fine. And if you have really smaller hands or even medium sized hands, you may even prefer it to the cut jack, but I don't. I have really long fingers and I'm wrapped just all the way around it. And when I'm really gripping down on it, doing stuff, you know, I'm, I, I'm digging my fingernails into my palm and that's, that's not great. So I can't really say that there's no hot spots or anything. There's nothing like, uh, there's no real issues with it. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't, don't care that for that, that much. Uh, that there's the size of it. I just wish the handle was a little bit thicker. I think maybe they scaled it down a bit too much when it came to the handle. Just a, just a skosh, maybe, maybe a skosh and a quarter, but I do wish the handle was just, just a wee bit bigger. So, but when you go to the cut jack, it's great ergonomically. I mean, choking up on it to use it like that, it's, it's awesome. Handle fits good in my hand no matter where I grab it. It feels like a much bigger knife than it is. It even kind of looks like it's a bigger knife than it is until you put it next to something. But yeah, the ergonomics on the on the cut jack mini are just outstanding. So I have to have to say, definitely ergonomically, if I'm gonna be holding it in my hand for a long period of time, doing a lot of stuff, this is the one I would grab. Now in carry, uh, carry was a clear win to the other side. The Rat is awesome to carry. Like I said, it's a little lighter, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the reason why I give the win to that is that it's just so much thinner when you put it in your pocket. It doesn't have the flipper tab sticking out. Uh, the handle's uh, even a little bit thinner. Uh, this nylon, it slips in and out of your pocket very, very easily. It's very easy to pull out. For some reason, I don't know why, they didn't put a smooth surface underneath here. I hate it when companies do that. You have this grippy FRN and the clip rests right on it, so it really pulls on your pants when you're trying to pull it in and out of your pocket. Uh, just put a thin little, put a little smooth spot on there. It would be super easy. This also has more carry options. It's tip up, tip down, right hand, left hand. This is just, you know, tip up, right hand, left hand. So, yeah. A clear win for this is a much easier knife to carry in your pocket. It's one of those you can just kind of forget is there. Especially, I carried it for a while with the, I just took the clip off and just put it in my pocket almost because the general shape of it is almost like a traditional. So I kind of took the clip off and just carried it like a traditional for a while. And it was great. It worked great doing that. Much prefer the, the carry of the Rat Model 2. Now, deployment. Um, yeah, this one this one was closer than I would think because, like I said, I had to I had to fiddle with this a bit. But once I did fiddle with it, it deploys awesome. Uh, the flipper works great. It's not as smooth. You can definitely tell it's on bushings. Both of these run on bushings. You can tell it's bushings. You can tell it's not ball bearings. It's not like one of those some bushing knives. You're like, is this ball bearings? I should have to take it apart and look. It, it this is not one. You know it's you know it's bushings. But it works great. The flipper works awesome. I like. I really like the uh, the liner lock is super. It sticks out just the right amount that it's very easy to get a hold of on your finger. Uh, very good deployment. The Rat has very good deployment. I like the thumb studs, um, I think it's, but it pops right out and it's a very solid ka-chunk when it opens. This doesn't have as solid of a ka-chunk, but this does. Uh, the only thing that keeps it from winning this category is that, that uh, the liner lock is very sharp. And it's not that way on both of the ones that I have. I just, I didn't like that very much. Um, but actually deploying it, it's fine. But closing is much, much easier on the steel wheel. So I got to go with the steel wheel as far as deployment goes. Now, value. Uh, again, this is, um, this, this one was a very, very tough one. Because depending on where you buy them, like right now, if you look at Blade HQ, they're almost exactly the same price. If you go other places, this is a little bit cheaper, but not enough to matter. You know, you're talking difference of five, six, seven, eight bucks. It's, it's not enough to really, really matter. Uh, they both have D2 steel. They both, you know, have different versions of plastic handles. The, again, this is kind of the same thing as what I said about the in the quality category. Um, for value, I would say the steel wheel, if it wasn't that I and other people have issues with them, maybe later on, 
um, look at the timestamp on this video to see maybe when there's another run of them. I know they've sold out and just gotten back in stock a lot of places. Maybe the second run's better. That often happens that way. Uh, so I'll keep an eye out and see if they're more consistent. And if that's the case, I will uh, amend that. But And I've gotten other steel wheels that are fine. I got a Modus that's exactly the same kind of construction. Had no issues with it whatsoever. But again, I've never had any issues with any of the rats that I've had. All four of them, they've all been fine. So quality wise, I mean, a uh, value wise, I don't know. I just have to, I, ha I can't really decide. I have to call it a, a tie. Again, I want to say, I want to say the cut jack, but I had a bit of a bad experience with this particular one and I know I'm not alone. So value wise, I also have to call it a tie. So what does that bring our conclusion to? Anticlimactic tie. We've got two to two and three ties. So yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't pick one, but it's it's really tough to choose between these two. It's really just what your, even if you remove my my quality issue about this, just forget about that and just pretend this one was perfect when I got it. Still, I would say if you have bigger hands, the, the cut jack, absolutely. If you're doing heavier duty stuff, you know, the cut jack. If you're doing lighter duty stuff and you have a little bit smaller hands or even medium sized hands, not even small hands, medium sized hands, the rat too so yeah that's my general conclusion is it really just depends on what you're doing and what the size of your hands are both awesome knives for i mean guys for this price I'm looking for under 40 dollars two years ago you'd have never gotten anything like this for under 40 bucks you'd have been looking at 8 cr 13 mov steel or maybe aus 8 if you were lucky now you're getting nice d2 really well done knives for under 40 bucks what can you complain about? I mean, one's made in Taiwan, one's made in China, Taiwan, China. They're made, they're still made overseas, and if that bothers you, that bothers you. Then start, you know, look at the American Kershaw stuff, but it's going to cost you a little bit more, and it's probably going to be speed safe, which uh, not a lot of people like. So, yeah, I don't. I, they're great bad values, both great knives. Very love them both, and I just can't really decide. Uh, so that's my conclusion is I love them both, and they're a tie. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Have a good one. Talk to you later.